I think what we could start adding, I know everyone had different designs, everyone had different uh, rooms, but we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to design our one room as a class together. So next things up is I'm gonna add a box in here. Whoops, and that box is going a little crazy. Look, if it goes a little crazy like it's doing right now, I can always undo, undo, and there it's back where I want it to be. First things first, I have this clicked. I'm gonna change the color. I wanna make my, I'm gonna make my TV first. I'm gonna make that yellow. So I'm gonna drag it in and I'm gonna put it on the line. If I'm not sure if it's right on the line. I can look at it from the front or from the top, I should say. And now I see it's right on the line. Looks good. Great. Now I'm gonna flatten it. And I'm gonna make it, this should be at, what is that? The depth should be, let's make it three. Or let's make it four. The size here, let's make this about 45. Let's see how big that is. Cool. Yeah, 45 works. Let's see, I wanna see if I, I like where this is at. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So I'm clicking on the wall to see where the middle of our wall is. I'm gonna move it over slightly, ever so slightly. Yeah, that's close enough for me. So first things already up, I got a big old TV, a big old screen I should say, maybe not a TV, but a screen up on the wall. Sorry, I'm just messing around here. Okay, I have that done. Next thing's up, I'm gonna click on my cube. I'm gonna change the color once again. You see I have a cube over here. I'm gonna make this one green. And it, I'll make it green, y'all, so it makes it a little easier to differentiate so I can tell what's what. So I'm gonna put this, whoops. I'm sliding it around a little bit. Um, it's a little annoying. But let's do this. Cool. And there you go. So I'm going to move this inside. I'm going to look at it from this side. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that down just a bit to about, let's see, about 10. So the height should be at 10. I'm going to click on this dot. The length should be at about, let's say, 25. And then the width, if I click on this other, or sorry, this other dot, the width should be at about 14. Looks pretty good. So again, 25, click on that, 14. If I click on the height, it should be 10. It's pretty solid. So next next thing here is I'm gonna go ahead and click on my box and I'm gonna duplicate it. So I made another box. I'm gonna make this one smaller. So I'm gonna shrink it to about let's see about three, no four. Let's yeah let's go go with four. Oops, y'all, give me one sec. I'm just making sure I got it. Oh, give me one sec, y'all. It's giving me a little bit of trouble. There it is. I'm gonna do it one more time. Shrink it down to four. To four. I'm gonna duplicate it. So what I'm making right now, I'm making the armrest basically. I gotta make sure I click on that small little box. I'm gonna move it over. I click on this small box again. I duplicated it. This is gonna be my armrest. I'm gonna move this up. So this should be at about 12. This should be at about 12. 
I might try to make this a little longer. What do you think? Instead of 25, let's go 30. So I'm going to move this over. You may be thinking, how the heck does that look like a couch? Well, it's going to get there. This bottom part, I'm going to duplicate one more time. I'm going to shrink it. And then I'm going to move it up using this button. So I'm making the back of my couch here. So I move the cone, that'll move it up. I need the bottom of this to still be, to still be uh, able to reach the bottom of our floor. So I'm gonna make this 14. I'm gonna move this down a little bit. I'm gonna click on, there it is, on this, and make sure that is 14. All right. Now I need some, I need some, uh, what are they called? I need some cushions here, because I got the back of my couch. I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. I'm gonna move, this slightly over. I'm going to make this a little bigger. So I'm just making sure this cube that I copied and duplicated touches my head, the back of my headrest. I'm going to click on this. Notice how this new piece is what's selected. I'm making that, let's say instead of 14, I'm going to make it 12. I'm just bringing it down a little bit. And I'm going to bring this, instead of 30, I'm going to bring it into where it hits the armrest. It's connecting there. I'm going to switch the other side. Oops. Is. I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to move it inside, and it's hitting there. So this kind of looks like a couch, but it looks like a Lego couch a little bit. So what we, what we can do, first off is if I click on my headrest or my armrest, I should say, and then I'm gonna click on this uh, menu. I'm gonna click on radius. I'm gonna make that, let's say we make it 1.5. So what that'll do, y'all, you'll notice once it's done, it's gonna curve the shape a little bit. So I'm gonna click on the other armrest and I'm gonna click on radius and put 1.5 again. You'll notice it'll curve it. Same thing for my cushion. My cushion's a square right now. My radius, I'll make this one 2.5. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, look at that. That's much more uh, circleized. Circleized. That's much more curvy, I should say. Now the last thing, I'm gonna click on my headboard and I'm gonna also type in 2.5. Uh, actually, I like two for my headboard, just a little less. And I might bring it down a little bit, y'all. Let's bring it down to 12. There we go. That looks much better. So I'm looking around. The bottom of my sofa looks a little blocky, too. So I'm going to do... So I'm clicking on the bottom part where I already did the headrest. I already did this, uh, the cushion. I already did the other headrest. And I already did the back. I'm going to click on the bottom part. Click on this menu, and then my radius is going to be, let's go with one, just to kind of give it, look at that. Now it's a little more curvy, looks like we can actually sit on there. And for my TV or my projector, I'm also going to do maybe like 0.5, just a little bit of curve to make it seem a little more realistic. So, so far, I'm kind of just going around showing you different angles of this. We have our sofa. And we have our TV, our projector. That's all we have so far. Last thing before we go, I'm gonna click on each of these buttons just like I did last time. I'm gonna click on my armrest. I'm gonna click shift and then click on my other armrest. I'm gonna click on the bottom part of my sofa, my cushion, and then the back of my sofa. So in total, there should be five shapes all clicked and I'm gonna merge them or group them just like I did with the last thing. So once you've done that, once you're ready and you group them, 
guess what? I can move my sofa around. It's one entire thing. And I can place it where I want to place it at. All right, that's it for today. Let me know if you have questions.